Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to MOOC in Tractomics course. In our last lecture, we talked about carbon nanotubes CNTs and nanowires CNWs, carbon nanotube field effect transistors CNT FETs and silicon nanowires field effect transistors. We discussed about their principle, some of the associated advantages and disadvantages and how they can be used for various type of proteomics applications. In today's lecture, we will continue our discussion about nanotechniques in proteomics. We will discuss few nanotechniques such as quantum dots, gold nanoparticles and nano cages and microfluidics. Let us first discuss about quantum dots or QDs. So, what are these QDs? QDs are nanocrystals or nanoparticles in size range of 1 to 10 nanometer displaying unique photochemical and photophysical properties. They are semiconductors whose excitons are confined in three spatial dimensions. These are inorganic fluorophores that exhibit size tunable emission, strong light absorbance, bright fluorescence, narrow and symmetric emission bands and high photostability. The long life, high chemical and thermal stability, resistance to photo bleaching and ability to provide better fluorescence quantum yields of quantum dots have overcome several basic limitations of traditionally used organic fluorophores and therefore made them the fluorophore of choice to be used in various applications in different biological fields. So, what are the different properties of quantum dots? They have broad range excitation, size tunable, narrow as well as symmetric emission spectra. Their fluorescence lifetime ranges between 10 to 100 nanoseconds and the surface chemistry control their stability. QDs offer great potential in biological studies due to their remarkable photostability which allows long term observation of biomolecules. They are suitable for labeling a variety of biomolecules and can be applied as semiconductors. In this slide, the application of semiconductor quantum dots as labeling agent for sensitive detection of target proteins in an array format is shown. The protein analytes are detected by monitoring the emission spectra of QDs. The excitation of QD with incident light leads to formation of excitons due to the absorbance of a photon with higher energy than that of a band gap of component semiconductor and this fluorescence intensity is measured as shown on the right hand side of this graph. The smaller is the nanocrystal, the higher the energy level can be reached. QDs have shown wide variety of promising applications in different areas of biological sciences such as immunoassays nucleic acid detection, analysis of genetic polymorphism, diagnostic imaging, single molecule detection, cellular localization studies, drug delivery as well as proteomics and genomic studies. You may realize that it offers a very wide range of applications 
in different levels of biosciences. So, you may realize that it offers a very wide range of applications in different biological applications that superior optical properties and ability to conjugate with several biomolecules like peptides, nucleic acids and antibodies have established quantum dots as a sensitive detection tool in clinical proteomics research. The different merits and demerits of using quantum dots. The merit of QDs include high fluorescence quantum yield, long lifetime, high chemical and thermal stability, resistance to photo bleaching over long period of time and its suitability for even single molecule analysis. The various chemistries available to conjugate biologically active molecules to the surface of nanocrystals. The demerits associated with QDs include toxicity of the cell, incomplete knowledge of the mechanism involved and the limited reproducibility of the labels. The cellular toxicity and biocompatibility are the major limitations of using quantum dots as there is limited knowledge on their clearance from the living system. However, there is an ongoing research to make these quantum dots more biocompatible by the surface modification including hydrophobicity and encapsulating them within the phospholipid muscles. Future research will definitely make them more widely applicable for different applications. Let us now look at this animation of quantum dots. The changes in the emission wavelength upon target binding antibody conjugated quantum dots are recorded by the microchip and used for detection of various biomolecules. Quantum dots are capable of detecting molecules down to femtomolar levels and provide significant advantages over conventionally used organic fluorophores. As you can see on the right hand side, the wavelength versus fluorescence intensity is plotted and change in the fluorescence intensity is observed when the molecule is binding on the antibody surface which is labeled with the quantum dots. The utility of quantum dots has been exhibited in variety of biological and clinical applications including immunohistochemical detection, drug delivery and therapeutics, diagnostic imaging, biomarker detection in cancer, studying DNA protein interactions, tracking extra and intracellular targets, detection of antigens and different type of tumor biopsy analysis. The mass spectrometry based studies have also started exploring quantum dots and it has also been used for carbohydrate and protein interactions. These are some of the published report that show the potential of using quantum dots for various proteomic applications. Let us now discuss another platform which is gold nanoparticles and nano cages. The gold nanomaterials show versatile biomedical applications due to their attractive structural and physicochemical properties. The size of the gold nanoparticles determines the proportion of absorption to scattering with biological imaging and it requires a very high scattering cross section which is achieved by increasing the size of nanoparticles. These gold nanoparticles and nano cages are considered as promising nanomaterials for cancer diagnosis because of their high signal enhancement capability. Gold nano cages 
which have been developed more recently are nano structures with porous walls and hollow interiors. They exhibit a strong scattering and absorption peaks in the near infrared region. Various types of surface modifications have been tried for gold nanoparticles by using different type of antibodies as well as molecular labels which can lead to the generation of surface enhanced Raman scattering or search response. These modifications have made gold nanoparticles suitable for the development of immunosensors for selective and ultra sensitive detection of protein biomarkers. Let us now discuss some of the properties of gold nanoparticles and nano cages. These are much smaller than the wavelength of light. They offer a strong scattering and adsorption peaks in the near infrared region. They have very narrow spectral bandwidth. They have high potential for signal amplification and they can act as optical probes for reflectance based optical imaging. They can be easily conjugated to antibodies or peptides and the change in spectra of scattered light or conjugation with biomolecules is observed by using these gold nanoparticles and nano cages. Some of the studies have also shown that gold nano cages can be conveniently functionalized with tumor specific antibodies and it serves as contrast agent for optical coherent tomography. These gold nanoparticles exhibit unique optical, electronic and catalytic properties and signal enhancement capabilities which make them suitable for selective and ultra sensitive detection of various biomarkers. The utilization of gold nanoparticles in electronic biosensing process leads to signal amplification. As shown in the slide, there are monoclonal antibodies which are immobilized on these gold nanoparticle surface which enables a specific detection of target proteins. Gold nano cages can also be functionalized with biomolecules to target cancer cells for early stage cancer detection and thermal therapy of tumors. Let us now discuss surface enhanced Raman scattering or SETS. The SERS effect is achieved when an analyte is adsorbed onto or in the close proximity to a prepared metal surface. The Raman excitation laser produces surface plasmons on surface of the metal. These plasmons interact with the analyte to greatly enhance the Raman emission. The surface enhanced Raman scattering or Raman spectroscopy lacks the sensitivity, but silver and gold nanoparticles can be used to enhance the scattering effect. The signal intensity of Raman active molecules is enhanced due to an increased local electric field at the nanoparticle surface and by electronic coupling between the absorbed molecule and the gold nanoparticle surface. As shown in the slide, these are gold nanoparticles which are functionalized with Raman labeled antibodies and the graph on the right shows changes in the Raman intensity due to the binding effect. There are various merits and demerits of using gold nanoparticles and nano cages. The merits include its narrow spectral bandwidth, resistance to photo bleaching and quenching, simple detection system and high throughput and multiplexing capabilities. Additionally, the bioconjugated gold nano cages can act as molecular probe to target the desired cell which is in vivo molecular imaging. Discussing about its demerit, the response obtained is highly dependent on the shape and size of nanoparticles and detection of molecules in complex solution is also difficult. The toxicity associated with these nanoparticles is another major limitation of this technology. The gold nanoparticle 
and nano cages have shown applications in variety of fields specifically in proteomics. They have been used in immunoassay studies, detection of cancer biomarkers and detection of various biomolecular interactions as well as photothermal destruction of breast cancer cells. These applications have been demonstrated in some of the published studies which have shown the potential of using core nanoparticles and nano cages for various proteomic applications. Let us now discuss the principle of gold nanoparticles and nano cages in this interactive animation. The gold nanoparticle surface is functionalized suitably by antibodies which will bind to the analyte of interest. Any target binding is depicted by a change in the emission spectra. As you can see on the right hand side, the Raman shift versus Raman intensity is plotted. After these gold nanoparticles are binding with the antibodies, a change in the Raman intensity is observed as shown in the plot on the right hand side. Let us now discuss next technology which is microfluidics. Microfluidics deals with processing of ultra small fluid volumes with help of 10 to 100 micron channels which can provide sensitivity in the range of picomolar to femtomolar. Microfluidics deal with fluids at nano level with help of channels having dimensions of tens to hundreds of micrometers. Microfluidic system helps to automate sequential sample processing as well as increasing sample throughput in parallel proteomic analysis. In addition to the primary advantage of improved heat and mass transport, microfluidics also offer other benefits like low reagent requirement, low sample consumption, multiplexed analysis, process automation and enhanced reproducibility of assays. Microfluidic devices are now increasingly applied in proteomics and coupled with different type of proteomic technologies. With intense research and increasing interest in using microfluidic devices and coupling them with mass spectrometry. It can provide an excellent platform for highly sensitive and simultaneous analysis of complex proteome. Another unique application in proteomics is application of microfluidics to print microarrays. Printing DNA, RNA and proteins on the chip surface is always challenging. And now different type of solutions are offered by microfluidic based system to enhance the spot to spot reproducibility and lower the sample consumption during the printing. Microfluidic platforms offer many advantages such as improved heat and mass transport, lower reagents and sample consumption, automated process and it offers higher reproducibility and provides capability for multiplexing analysis. At the same time, the limitations of microfluidics include the higher cost of chips, occurrence of non-specific interactions due to high surface to volume ratio and therefore, highly sensitive detection systems are required in such cases. Now, let us briefly discuss some of the major applications of microfluidics in proteomics. The protein identification is performed by mass spec. Now, there is increasing trend of using microfluidic based system with 
various proteomic platforms such as mass spectrometry and surface plasma resonance. The microfluidics being used in different applications such as immunological studies and biomolecular interactions, biomarker discovery including cancer biomarker detection, enzymatic reactions and lastly diagnostics as biochips mark the beginning of microfluidic applications in proteomics. These are just few of the microfluidic based applications mentioned here. It should be apparent that microfluidics have a significant potential to rapidly augment scientific discoveries in numerous fields including proteomics. Other than these techniques which we have discussed in some detail, there are additional promising nano techniques which are also being applied for proteomics applications. All of these techniques are at various stage of proof of concept and development, but have received increased attention due to their potential for proteomics based investigations. Some of these nano techniques involve nano mechanical mass spectrometry nanofluidics, micro cantilevers and photonic micro ring resonators. Various type of detection methods also employ inorganic and metal oxide nanoparticles and self assembled cationic peptide nanoparticles and polymeric nanoparticles. The study of proteomics which promises to provide solutions to several pathological conditions requires new potential techniques to study the complex proteome. This has brought together the diverse field of proteomics and nanotechnology offering a new arena of nanoproteomics. Over the last few years, nanoproteomics have made significant progress from proof of concept studies to applications in well established and complex biological applications. They have been used for several biological applications such as biomarker discovery and label free measurement of various biomolecular interactions. Nanoproteomics hold great promise to become a technically robust and user friendly platform for clinical and diagnostic studies. The advantages offered by various nano techniques have allowed them to be successfully coupled with rapidly growing field of proteomics. In summary, today we discussed about different type of nano techniques such as quantum dots, gold nanoparticles, nano cages and microfluidics. We discussed the merits and demerits of each of these techniques as well as some of their applications. However, there still remains many challenges associated with this field. By looking at some of these applications, it can be concluded that nano techniques can offer significant advancement in proteomics research. Thank you.